Note the telegram boy, desperate to get his face known to the camera. He bought a telegram for one of the survivors. The crew of the Carpathia would have thrilling stories to tell for many years to come. These are the berths at the Cunard docks, where, just the night before, 30,000 had gathered to get a glimpse of the survivors disembarking from Carpathia. Just along from here, at Pier 59, a space had been booked for noon on Saturday the 20th of April for the maiden departure from New York of the Titanic. Many of the survivors left from these quaysides for their return to Europe, with their plans to live in the new world at an end. As New York mourned, its citizens brought spare clothing to the docks, indeed anything to comfort those men, women and children who'd lost everything. These scenes portray an Edwardian New York with the women wearing the dress of the period. At the time these films were taken, cinematography was just 15 years old. The Titanic saga was the first incident of its kind to receive attention from the new moving image cameras. There were many heroes in this disaster, but none more than Captain Rostron and his crew of the Carpathia. He was knighted soon afterwards and died in 1940 at his hometown of Southampton. Father Hoag is reported as being one of the first people to spot the Titanic's lifeboats as the Carpathia neared the scene. He quite probably held services on board the rescue ship for those who perished. These are sequences of the actual crew rescued from the sea. Their faces tell the story they had lived through just 72 hours before. Many of the crew would testify at the inquiries held in New York and London to determine the cause of the tragedy. The inquiry in New York began the day after the survivors arrived in the city. This is quartermaster Robert Hitchens, who was actually at the wheel of the Titanic as it hit the iceberg. He was to turn his wheel quickly to starboard by order of the first officer. These are more than likely the crew of the Carpathia, illustrating to reporters how Titanic's crew and passengers adorned the important life preserver belt. Here is Italian-born Marconi after giving evidence to the Senate investigation. It was his wireless radio invention that helped to save so many lives that calm, cold night on the North Atlantic. He and his wife very nearly sailed on the maiden voyage themselves.